the heat that comes back. I mean, heat recovery in heat treatment. Let's start the new episode. My name is Adam Adamek, and my expert today is Sebastian Ostash. Hi, Sebastian. Hi, Adam. We have interesting topic for today, but let's so. start with some questions. Are you familiar with vacuum furnaces or are you familiar with generally with heat treatment? I think so. We have vacuum furnace and to make a heat treatment, we need to heat up the load. To heat up the load, we need to uh, use a lot of energy, mostly electrical energy to cool down the furnace itself. To make it uh, in a safe operation, we need to cool down the vessel, the flange, we need to cool down the door. During the quenching, we cool down the heat exchanger, very important. We have uh, water cooling on the angle valve in diffusion pump, on diffusion pump water. A lot of water everywhere to make the furnace safety operation. But we need to cool down this water. So let's go. What is there? Yeah? Yes. To see what is there. Let's see how the heat travels. Come on. What we've got here, we have water cooling system with control cabinet dedicated for water cooling system, water pumps, emergency water pump, and water buffer tank. We collect all the water into the water buffer tank. And to make this water Cool, again, we need external Elbas cooler, so let's go to see. All right, and this is the latest and the final element of water cooling system, where we cool down the water and all the heat is distributed into the air. And Sebastian, this is the question, what we can do with this, not to waste the energy and not to waste the money. Yes, that's correct. That's a sad story because uh, with my eyes I can see uh, the, the heat that goes out in the air, uh, the emission of the CO2 that goes out in the air and of course the money that goes out yes. in the air. So, so now let's talk, yeah. let's go back to the water cooling system and let's talk what we can do, what we can improve and how we can save. Yes, let's do it. Let's go. Sebastian, can you explain me how we can save or recover the heat from the water cooling system? What we can do? What is the solution? Yes, Adam, I will try. Please. Uh, first of all, you nicely described the way how the heat travels, beginning uh, with the furnace. Yes. Right, and uh, now through the pumping system where we are now. Here, okay. Uh, the water the hot water is pumped to the buffer uh, to contained, heat. right? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, the temperature in this buffer uh, tank uh, fluctuates because, yes. as you know... Uh, we cool down the water continuously yes. and yes. from time to time, when we have the quenching, the heat raises up. Exactly. Temperature raises up. Yes. So, that fluctuates, that's between 20, 30, maybe yes. 40 uh, But it's degrees. not constant. Yes, exactly. And if you if we want to use this uh, this water for heating some other uh, devices, for okay. example, uh, heating the tap water or like you have here. Yes, yes, yes exactly. Here. here we can heat the tap water. We can also uh, heat up the buildings uh, or holes in the uh, in the, in the plant. office in the plant. Yes, yes exactly. But what is uh, the best solution and uh, which has the fastest return on investment uh -huh. is to use this heat uh, for other processes, technological processes that need uh, hot water, water, for example. So in our industry, the best One is One moment. Yeah. Normally, yeah. it's not uh, made like this, because normally the heat, like we said, it's mm -hmm. uh, transfer into the air. Yes. But you say what we can do. So tap water, heating system, or some device like washing machine. Yes, the, the washing machines is the best solution because uh -huh. it requires a lot of hot water for uh, preheating. Uh, it's, uh, the temperature there is around 60 
Celsius degrees. Degree. Yes, okay. exactly. But as I have mentioned, we don't have it here uh, for the constant level, yes, right? Yes, yes, so yes. This temperature so you need something. Temperature. Yes, we need something, and that's the clue. That's the heart of the system. So. Uh, to achieve a constant uh, level of temperature, uh -huh. we need uh, to increase the temperature from time to time. If you want, for, for example, to get 60 degrees. Uh -huh. So uh, our solution is to equip uh, the installation with the heating pump, exactly the water, water heating pump. Okay. It will switch on whenever uh, the temperature is low, it will heat it up, and it will turn One question. Off. Heat pump, where yes. it can be installed? It can be installed in the same frame as the water cooling system? This is the place for water heat pump or, or some other place? It doesn't have to be installed here. It can be installed somewhere else in the plant. Okay, so also, it's not critical. Yes, but sometimes critical thing in a plant is that there is not enough space. Okay. We have also some solutions that we can put it outside the plant in a special Box. Okay, okay. So the space is not a problem for us. You said this is the heart of the system, yes. of recovery system, yes. so it means the heat pump and yes. the buffer tank. The, the buffer tank, this is the place where uh, the heated uh, water uh, is accumulated. Okay. And it can be then distributed to other equipment like washers, like heating building. The, the, the most important fact, we collect the water as, uh, let's say, in the standard or traditional water cooling system. Exactly. But instead of wasting the heat and letting the, uh, into the we air... capture that and reuse it somewhere else, where okay. it is needed. In the tap water or the best washing machine yes, and so the on. the best solution. This is something we can implement in the existing system or it can be only installed as a new delivery with the new furnace with all the everything new or how it, how it is? Uh, both. Of course, uh, you can also install it in a uh, new hardening shop. Uh, I would say that it is uh, much easier, faster and maybe cheaper. Why? Uh, because uh, when you are in front of a plain paper or in front of the computer desktop, yes, yes, yes. Uh, you can uh, think about the solution uh, in advance so uh, you can think uh, how to locate it in a close proximity and for example save on the uh, piping on the electricity wiring and everything mm -hmm. so it will have uh, much logic and it will be more reasonable i'm happy to hear it because many times perhaps you also when i visit uh, different uh, companies mm -hmm. i see a lot of installations like this but i have never seen the recovery system from the, let's say, professional recovery system yes. like this. Yes. Do you have the same opinion? Uh, I have the same opinion, uh, but uh, now there is a great need for such solution because everybody talks about yes. energy saving, about increasing uh, the energy efficiency in the whole process of the uh, production. The last question, because this is the technical uh, recovery, let's say, the technical explanation about the recovery, mm -hmm. This is also maybe additional uh, kind of investment, but in terms of water buffer tanks, the accumulation uh, water tank, it can be also treated as a, a heat uh, storage system. Yes. So we can expect in different regions some funds, yes? Yes, uh, I always recommend to our customers uh, to ask regularly in, uh, in the area uh, about some uh, possible donations uh, from the state, some yes. additional findings, because this is really a solution that uh, helps uh, decrease the, the cost of the heat treatment and also uh, decrease the emission of, of the carbon Sebastian, dioxide. It sounds perfect for me because it's not only the economical world solution, but it's also real ecology. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Good. Uh, it also helps to improve the image of the company that, that cares for the uh, environment, environment yes. yes, and reduces the, the carbon footprint. Great. Sebastian, for me it's more than enough. I hope you, it will be also interesting to you. In case of any questions, you know where to find us. Thank you so much Thank for the discussion. I hope to see you again in Seco Talks. Yes, it will see be a pleasure. See you next time.